Hello and welcome back to the Versus series. The title for this video is Some Versus Any with Douglas ESL. Some and any are prepositions that often get confused. Let's start with the rules for the use of the preposition any. The general rule for any is to be used in a negative sentence, so a sentence that has the word not located in it. Example number one, I do not have any shoes. You see the word not, so it's a negative sentence. So we would use any, any shoes. Number two, he does not have any money. Number three, I do not need any help today. Number four, I do not have anything good to wear to the party. And number five, she looked in the desk and could not find any pencils. So we're using any because these sentences are negative. We also can use any in questions. Example number one, do you have any sisters? Number two, did you find any shoes you like? Number three, are you going anywhere this weekend? Number four, does anyone know the phone number? And number five, have you seen any good movies this year? This is the in examples of using any in questions. And the last examples, any is also used in positive sentences that mean it does not matter which. So positive sentences where we're saying it does not matter which. Example number one, you can ask for help any day this week. So it does not matter which day. So any day this week. Number two, you can sit anywhere in the room. It does not matter where you sit in the room, anywhere. Number three, he is willing to work any weekend this month. Number four, David is able to go any day you want. And number five, Kelly can sit at any chair at the table, showing the use of any when it does not matter which. Okay, the general rule for some is to be used in a positive sentence. So a sentence that has not, no not in it. So a positive sentence or in questions when you're offering or requesting. Here are examples of some. Number one, this job will take some time. It's a positive sentence, no not. Number two, I will go to Japan someday. Number three, you have some ice cream in your home. Number four, would you like some tea? This is an example of offering. Would you like some tea? And number five, could I have something to eat? This is an example of requesting. Can I have something to eat? Okay, now it's time for our some versus any assessment. Choose the correct word some or any into the following sentences. I'll read them for you. Then you can pause the video, answer the questions, and then we'll look at the answers. Number one, we have rice in the kitchen. Number two. May I have more popcorn? Number three, I do not drink alcohol. Number four, the pizza restaurant is open day this week. Number five, do you know of these people? And number six, could you give me advice? 
So pause the video and select your answers. Okay, let's see what the answers are. Number one, we have some rice in the kitchen. Some, it's a positive sentence. Number two, may I have some more popcorn? It's a request. Number three, I do not drink any alcohol. Not any. Negative sentence. Number four, the pizza restaurant is open any day this week. Number five, do you know any of these people? And the last sentence, number six, could you give me some advice? Please like, subscribe, and share to hear more English videos in the near future. Thank you for watching Douglas ESL.